Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a box of boxes. And actually these are not just any boxes, these are ammunition boxes. These are cartridge boxes. In fact, they are, let's go ahead and zoom in here a bit on the label. They are National Match Factory Style Ammo Boxes with Styrofoam Tray, 270 Winchester, 30-06 Springfield, 20 round cardboard white box. Open other end. Now, I recently purchased these from Midway USA, actually last week, because they are on a weekly sale right now of $17.99, which is $2 off of normal price. They also had the pistol ammunition boxes for $2 off, which is pretty good. I mean, $2 off isn't great when it's $20, but it's not bad. And if you need them anyway, which I did need some of these boxes because I still have a lot of loose eight millimeter Mauser from Fed Arms, which I really like it. And I really love running my hands in this box of cartridges. But in the same stroke, I thought some cartridge boxes would be nice. So let's go ahead and open this up. It says open other end. But when you look at the other end, this other end is solid. So maybe they mean the top. So we're gonna try to open the top. <laughs> if you're going to use an automatic knife for opening boxes, I suggest the stiletto style out the side. The OTF knives, if you use them for this, they tend to get adhesive stuck to the blade and eventually, eventually they won't open. Just a bit of added advice. If you're going to use an automatic knife for opening these boxes, make it a side folder. Stiletto style, preferably. Maybe not such an ugly green color, but I paid like $5 for this, so. Okay. Well, these are our cardboard boxes. Nice and white, easy to write on. Oh, they say midway right here. Let's go ahead and unfold one. Well, they unfold nicely. They feel pretty sturdy, about as sturdy as any factory ammunition box. In fact, sturdier than some other factory ammunition boxes I've been dealing with lately. Let's go ahead and just fold it in. Ooh, that's a little tight. That's okay. You really prefer things to be tight than loose. I mean, loose is a sign of poor quality, right? Maybe poor character. One of the two. Okay, that's a lot tighter than I'd like it to be, honestly. So you can see it's kind of getting jammed in there. Maybe when we put one of these foam inserts, it'll make it easier. Oh. Well, it doesn't seem to. So, sturdiness so far, I would say this feels as sturdy as a factory ammunition box, but not caring for this. Not caring for that at all. Maybe the other end. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I need to fold in the other end first. And now yeah, maybe. Oh. Well that end that end did seem to fold in quite a bit better. So there we go. Got one of our foam inserts, which these foam inserts are very square. I will give it this, they do seem a little on the cheaper side, but you know, for 20 bucks, that's not a bad price. Okay. Let's grab some rounds and put them in here and see how they go. Now these appear to go point down. So, go ahead and throw some of these in here. Yeah, they do seem uh, not to be the straightest of lines for the eight mil. Now granted, these are for a variety of cartridges, so they're gonna be a universal fit rather than a specific fit for say these eight millimeters. But still, it is a bit sloppy. Okay, well, there's 20 rounds. Move the rest of them out of the way. As you can see, 20 rounds. 20 rounds. See how they slide in the box? Oh. And there they go. Seem to be pretty good. Let's see if we can close up this end now. Maybe we can close it up a little easier. Try to get this bulge side end first. Good enough, good enough. Okay, now, because you know, they are a little loose in there and this is a universal box, 
Let's just uh, shake the living hell out of it. Okay. Well, do you see a little damage here to the end with the shaking the hell out of it? And the cartridges actually do seem to be in straighter lines now. I believe that they've dug into the foam. So, I'm not saying they should shake them like that. <clears throat> Pardon me. But maybe shaking them like that uh, makes them fit a little better. And there we go. Right into the box. Something else I did like about these is that if you want to, you could take and write what the ammunition is here on the side and marker. That way you know what it is without looking at it. And you could even put the lot number so you know where it came from. Whoa. Okay, don't take them out like that because there's a good chance they will fall. Oh, look at, oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Overall, I'm really happy with these for less than $20 and it gives me a way to pack up all this loose eight millimeter Mauser that I have. And if you happen to buy the Fed Arms bulk ammunition the way I do, it's really kind of a godsend to have these boxes because like I said, as cool as it is to run your hands through the shells, it's really inconvenient to take to the range. So hopefully you found this informative. If you see this pretty quickly, you might be able to get these on sale. Again, $2 off at Midway USA. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.